Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adeze and I'm a mommy YouTuber based in Port Harcourt, Nigeria. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing a topic that is very, very important to me. It's a very serious topic. It's something that I feel we as ladies should really talk about. So ladies, get in here. I've already blocked all the men. Don't worry, they're not going to be around for this. I've blocked all the men on my channel. We are going to discuss this because I remember I did a topic last year where i was talking about how when things happen we should not shy away from talking about ways to protect ourselves as ladies okay so in today's video i am going to be talking about how to protect yourself now disclaimer me saying all this does not mean that um those people who um we are assaulted or whatever you know had this coming or maybe they did they were not smart enough that's not what i'm trying to say i'm one of those people that believe that once an incident happens do not ask the victim why this why that like do not even try it okay because if you're asking her what you're just saying is that somehow it's her fault so i'm one of those people but at the same time like i said i'm just going to give us practical tips you know we all know these things but let's just remind ourselves of some of these things in fact this video i'm making this video for my kids okay i'm making this video for my daughter so that one day when they are old enough i'm going to play this video to them and tell them just listen and then we'll discuss okay so if you're one of those people who don't like to hear the truth or you don't like to hear opposing opinions or you don't like to even hear anything about a woman protecting herself, that's fine. You can click out now. But if you are someone who is interested in knowing about how, you know, we as women can, you know, help ourselves one way or the other, then just keep on watching. <laughs> have to recognize that there is evil in this world don't be naive okay don't think that um you know you know don't don't be one of those people who wants to see the good in people all the time don't don't gamble on that okay don't don't risk your life okay because you are trying to prove that there are good people in this world okay Consider anybody you meet. I don't want to say any man you meet because even women too, okay? So consider anybody you meet as a potential, you know, perpetrator, okay? So you have to be careful. You have to have it at the back of your mind that this world is evil. In my last video or two videos ago, um, I talked about how my help, the help that I had at that time, you know, took my child and went out without telling me and I was at home with it, without telling me. And someone came to my comment section to tell me how um, the girl's life matters to, that she to get to someone's child, that shouldn't have talked to, talked to her the way I talked to her, that blah, 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 that another YouTuber won't talk to the girl. She, meant, she even named the YouTuber, that another YouTuber will not talk to her help the way I talked to the girl. I was just like, number one, dude, <laughs> number one, you don't even know what people do in their houses, that's, but that's, that's by the way, okay? Number two, I hope you guys know that when they want to kidnap children, it's not like, in most cases, it's not like men will just show up, you know, wearing black masks, looking like kidnappers, saying, oh, I'm here now to kidnap this child, you know, shooting gun everywhere. That's not how it happens in most cases. In most cases, it is simple, it is as simple as the help just carrying the child out of the house, and that is the end you will see, that's the last you see of that child, and that's the last you see of that help okay in many cases you don't even see when the child leaves you just maybe your child is having a nap you come back you can't see your child on, on on her bed where you kept the child and that's the end okay so let us just recognize that there is evil in this world evil does not have a name it does not have a face okay it can come in any form or shape and this person that took my child out of my house it's not a child, it's a, a grown adult. It's not like, oh, a, a 10 year old took my toddler and went out. It's a grown adult that's old enough to have her own child, took my child and went out of my house without telling me. And then you're telling me she's someone's child. So I shouldn't have talked to her the way that I was like, <laughs> whoa, me too, I'm someone's child though. In case people don't know, I'm someone's child. Anyway, that's by the way, I don't even know why I just put up that one. That's by the way, you have to recognize that there's evil in this world. It does not have any face. I watch a lot of ID channel, okay? <laughs> Believe me, you, most of the perpetrators that I see there do not look like what in your mind you think, you know, a rapist or, or someone that, you know, um, commits sexual assault will look like. You know the way sometimes we see that some men look like perverts, okay? There are some men that look like the typical perverts that we have in our heads. If you go and watch the ID channel, if you even listen to the news and you see people that have been caught in such distance, they look as innocent as your brother. They look as innocent as your father. They look as innocent as your friends, okay? There's this saying that we say, um, a lot of, mo almost every girl knows a girl who has been raped, but no guy knows a guy who is a rapist, 
okay? And that's just the fact of life, okay? That's because it does you know, they show for face. So, don't think that bad will not happen to you, that, oh, you're special or you're smarter or you're something. Do not think that it will not happen to you or that you trust this person with your life. No. So you have to recognize, first of all, that there is evil in this world and the evil is becoming worse. It is becoming worse and it's going to get worse, okay? Don't believe what Hollywood is trying to show you about how, you know, you can just meet a guy and have a one night stand and then the next day, you know, you guys realize, realize that you are soulmates and the next thing you're married and you're walking down the aisle. <laughs> It does not work like that for 90%, in fact, for 99.9% 9 .9 of people, it does not work like that, okay? So many evil things happen to people all in the name of they're looking for love, they're looking for a relationship, they're looking for partners. So many evil things happen to people, so you just have to protect yourself and be careful, okay? Okay, so another one is, like I said, rapists do not have a dress code. They do not have, you know, they show for face. So... Um, as much, if you even, if you even listen to so many women who have been assaulted or who have been raped, most of the time you will see that the people who did these things were people who they trusted, people who they loved, people who they were close to. Most of the children who were abused were abused by people that they know. Yes, we teach children about stranger danger, don't talk to people that you don't know, don't go out to people that you don't know, blah, 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 blah. Yes, there's stranger danger, but believe me, you, okay? In most cases, children and women are abused by people that they know, and men too, okay? Let me not be biased and not add men, because men too also face abuse in one form or the other, I know, but for this video, like I said, I've blocked all the men, okay? So this is for us women. Women and in fact, I'm sure if you're watching me and you have unfortunately, you know, experienced something like this, I'm sure you will agree with me that it wasn't one stranger on the streets that just saw you from nowhere and came into your house and raped you. In many cases, it was an uncle, it was a family friend, it was a boyfriend, it was a friend, it was a, you know, a, a close pal, it was your best friend, a male best friend or whatever, okay? So like I said, they don't have a dress code, they don't have a, an identifier, they don't, they don't have a marker, they don't have any mark on their face that you can know, okay, this is a rapist and this is not a rapist, okay? And in Nigeria, that's why I even, I even decided to talk about this topic because you need to protect yourself. In Nigeria, we do not have anybody to protect us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The only thing we know how to do is just to talk on social media and hashtag, uh, when we finish hashtagging it and sharing and sharing and sharing, before you know what is happening, your story will just die off the way so many people's stories have died off, okay? I even said this in my, I did a post on Instagram where I said this thing, okay? The perpetrator's semen might be in the girl's body. The perpetrator's um, skin cells might be under the girl's nose if she fought for her life. You know, his blood might be at the scene. He might leave his wallet behind with his ID card. But guess what will happen? Nothing is going to happen, okay? Except, you know, for some reason, somebody saw him, saw, saw when it happened and then reported the person directly and then they, you know, made the person confess. That's the only way they catch thieves or perpetrators in this country. They're nothing like forensics. It's nothing like, oh, they use DNA to track the person. When I watch ID channel, I see people that, I see cold cases that are solved after 20-something years using DNA. DNA that was collected 20-something years ago, in 20-something years after, you know, with new technology and all that, they test the DNA and they catch the perpetrator. In Nigeria... <laughs> Who even collects DNA in the first place? They don't even collect any DNA. I don't know if they do, but I uh, trust me, I don't think they do. Okay, so just if you're a Nigerian living in Nigeria, just know that you are on your own. So you have to do everything you can. I'm not saying that if you do all these things, it cannot still happen to you. Unfortunate things still happen, okay? Bad things still happen to good people, okay? You, you can never be too careful in this life. But please, let it not be a situation that, that could have been avoided, okay? Let it not be, trust me. I've been a victim of this, okay? It is worse when it is a situation where you know that you could have done something about it. It's not like a case where, oh, maybe they just met you on the highway and they brought out guns and nothing you can do about it. No. There are situations where you know that they, you could have said no. You could have, you could have not followed the guy to that place. You could have just, you know, not even talked to the guy in the first place. There are situations that you can control. Those are the situations I'm talking about, okay? You guys, I'm going to stand my lot in this video because I'm very, getting very heated while talking about this. Just accept me the way I am. That's the way I talk, please, okay? <laughs> <sighs> Alright, so the next point, which basically should have been my first point, is develop the habit, okay, of following 
your instinct, okay? And if you're a Christian, develop the habit of listening to the Holy Spirit, okay? It's a habit, it's a muscle that you actually have to flex, okay? The ability to listen to your instinct, the ability to listen to the Holy Spirit. If you form a negative habit of not listening to your instinct or not listening to your to the Holy Spirit, trust me, it's going to be difficult for you to listen to, to the Holy Spirit when your, your life depends on it. It's going to be difficult because you're not used to it. It's not something that you do, you know, often, okay? So now, how do you develop your instinct or how do you develop the habit of listening to the Holy Spirit? Start from small things, okay? If the Holy Spirit tells you, don't wear black, wear blue, wear blue. If the Holy Spirit tells you, don't eat now, eat in the next 10 minutes, wait and eat in the next 10 minutes, okay? Listen, don't think that, oh, it's just trivial, okay? Like I said, if you are a Christian, you understand what I'm talking about. If I know you're a Christian, then just follow your instinct, okay? Because trust me, the female instinct is very, very strong. I think over time, I don't know how true this is, it's just my theory, but I feel that over time, because we have been an endangered species of sorts, we have naturally developed that instinct, okay? Of, you know knowing when danger is coming because over time I just feel it's evol evolution that caused it but that's just my own theory okay nobody has proven it anywhere but I'm just saying I feel like evolution has caused it because uh, women have been you know the vulnerable ones for years for for years eternity for since since the beginning of time women have always been the vulnerable ones so I feel like we have naturally developed that instinct to, to sense danger that's why um, people they, people even advise husbands that whenever you want to do anything, try and listen to your wife, okay? Most women know when something is dangerous or can be dangerous, unlike men who just dive into anything. <laughs> like, you know, um, things that men do, like some really dumb shit that you're just like, what's wrong with this guy? Like, doesn't he have sense? Why did, he, why did this man do that thing, okay? So I just feel like it's that God-given, whether, whether it's God-given or evolution or whatever, all I'm just saying is that women have a very strong instinct. And when you have kids, that instinct becomes stronger, Okay? Like I said again, it's just my theory. But anyway, lean on it, okay? Lean on your instinct. Don't don't shun yourself. Don't shun your inner mind. Don't shun that voice that's telling you no, no, no. Don't shun that voice because trust me, if you shun that voice and something bad happens, you are forever going to blame yourself. You will never, like you, it's going to be hard for you to come out of it. Yes, you can recover after a while, but before you recover, sometimes you might even need therapy to recover from, you know, something bad happening to you because you just did not want to listen to your your, your spirit. So the next point is don't be secretive. Oh, women, please try. I know a lot of us believe that our friends are trying to snatch our boyfriends, our friends are this, our friends are gossips, my friends will not. <laughs> please change your friends if that is what you feel about your friends, okay? Do not be secretive. Let them know where you are going to. Let them know who you are going out with. Let them know who that man in your life is. Don't be giving him Mr. X as name. Let every, don't, be, don't be too secretive, okay? Yes, you can keep some details to yourself. But let people know if you are going out in the night, if you are going to hang out, if you are going to visit somebody, if you are traveling out of your state to go to someone else's, you know, to go and visit one guy or visit one friend or visit one anybody, let people in your life know, okay? Let a close friend know, maybe one of your closest friends, let your sister or your brother know. Let somebody close to you know where you are going to, okay? Keep them updated about your, you know, your whereabouts, okay? Don't be too secretive. Let them know who you are going to meet, not just where you are going to, but let them know who you are going to meet. Let them have vital details about the person you are going to meet, okay? So the next point is, please set boundaries for yourself in a relationship. Okay, you are the lady in the relationship. You should be the one setting the boundaries in the relationship. Don't do things because your boyfriend wants it. I'm not saying you cannot, you know, be considerate of your boyfriend, but set boundaries in your relationship, okay? Self-respect is sexy. Don't bend over and fall over and crawl over just to do things because, oh, this guy loves, this guy says he loves me, or this guy says he wants to marry me. So anything on earth he asks for, I'm going to give it to him because I want to get married or because I want to have a partner because I don't want to, to sleep alone at night. No! Okay, trust me, when you set boundaries for yourself, you are actually setting standards for the kind of person that you want to eventually be with. Okay, if you do not have standards, you're going to end up with just anything. But when you have standards, you're going to find out that the people that are going to keep coming for you are the people that have 
you know, that meets that high standard, okay? Now, I'm not saying you should have unnecessarily high standards, but I'm just saying when it comes to a relationship, when it comes to your life, when it comes to what you want for yourself, when it comes to the kind of man you want to be with, the kind of, the, the way you want to be treated in a relationship, the way you want your man to, you know, love you, the way you want your man to, the way you want to be treated basically as a woman, set, that, set those standards for yourself. Don't accept anybody who treats you below that. Okay, set those standards. And you will see that you will just naturally self the the... The rubbish ones, the ones who are not up to standards, will just fall off, fall by the wayside. And those who will be left are the ones who are worth your time and your energy. If you know that you don't want to have sex before marriage, say you don't have sex before marriage. Do not compromise just because, oh, if I don't do it, the guy will leave me. Trust me, if he leaves you, someone that will respect you and will also wait for you will come around. Okay, that's just the truth of it. But the reason why most times we don't get those kind of things is because we are not even setting boundaries for ourselves in the first place. Okay? Never be too desperate in any relationship. Never be too desperate. Never be desperate. Never ever be desperate. Okay? We women have to learn to look out for each other, okay? If you have girlfriends who are not looking out for your safety, who are not looking out for your well-being, who are not looking out for you, basically, please, you need to drop them. You need to drop them, like, real quick, okay? When you go and hang out with your friends, always have a girl code that the way we came is the way we are going back. No, there is no falling by the wayside. I remember one time, I had this guy that came to see me in school then, okay? He didn't even come to see me. He came to, he came for a wedding, or he came for, I think, yeah, he came for a wedding and he was someone that I used to talk to. So after the wedding, he came to see me. We all went to hang out with him and his friends and some of my friends, you know, joined us, okay? In fact, just one of my friends joined us and then there was one, and one other girl that also knew him that also joined us. We're just friends, okay? Nothing romantic going on or anything, okay? So while we were hanging out, they're not like, ah, that they're done hanging out here. They want to go and hang out somewhere else, you know, for an after party or something or something. And I said, okay, ah, that's nice. So that means we have to go. Because me, myself, I knew that, or I could, it's not like, because this guy is not a bad guy, okay? So let me not even say I knew he wanted more. He didn't want more, but I knew that his friends could have wanted more. And it's be a situation where... When they want more, it's not me that they will come and meet now because I mean I already came with someone. So I knew that my friends were going to be the ones that they will want more from. And my friends were even like, oh no, no don't worry, let's, let's go now. They were even like, let's go now. He was even telling me that, see, he was telling them that, see, your friend is the one that is holding you people. So go and beg her. If she agrees, then we can all go. If she doesn't agree, then I have to go and drop you guys back in your hostel, okay? My friends were not begging me now, please, that let them go. That let's go go for the after party. My mind was like, okay, if we go for this after party, this was already in the evening. They're not, we're not allowed to enter our hostel once it's 12 midnight. You know, they lock our, our hostels by 12 midnight. So we are most likely not going to come back to the hostel that same night, okay? Now, when we are not going to come back to the hostel that same night, are you going to tell me that they will give three of us a room and all the men will stay in their own rooms and they will give three of us a room to stay? We all know that that's not what's going to happen. They are going to share us. <laughs> okay? They are going to share us. Like I said, the guy I went with, I'm sure nothing would have happened between us. But I do not know about his friends, okay? And my friends who we are very excited, you know, very, I won't say they are naive, but they were acting naive that night. I'm sure they did not care. But I said, no, we are all going back to our hostel, okay? So that was how, you know, my male friend now took us and dropped us back at our hostel. Yeah, so I knew that the ladies did not like it, but just like, I don't care, okay? That's girl code for me, okay? We do not plan out when we're leaving our hostel that from there, we will now go and hang out and go for after party and then sleep over at anybody's hotel room or whatever. If we do not plan that, okay? Always look out for your female friends. Um, look, when you see, if you see somebody spike your friend's drink or spike another woman's drink, it doesn't even have to be your friend, okay? Maybe you're in a party, you're in a club, you're in something and you see that, ah, this woman's drink is spiked too. Or this girl is actually very, very drunk and she doesn't really know this guy. You can tell she doesn't really know this guy and this guy is actually, you know, go there and intervene, okay? <laughs> they might break your head, but, but they're not the strength in numbers. If you have your friends, okay, go there and intervene. Go there, just try and look out for other women, okay? There are women who set up their own friends to be assaulted. They know that this guy, okay, wants to sleep with, my, with, with their friends and their friends might not be interested. They know they will now lie to the friend and then get her drunk or whatever and then allow the guy to have his way. If you're that kind of person, a thunder is going to fire you. God punish you. 
I saw you to say, but if you're that kind of person, you are you are a terrible human being. Like you are the worst of the worst. Like you are worse than the guys. Like you are the you are the worst of the worst. You are the scum of the earth. If you are a fellow lady, if you're a woman who sets up other women to be raped or assaulted, like you are you are you are just you are dead. Like you're nothing worse than trash. Okay? Yeah. I'm not even sorry to say that. So another thing that me I used to do then is. <laughs> If I want to go and say, guy, yeah, I'm not talking about midnight though, because I, I I wasn't even someone that used to go out in the night. I'm talking about daytime. If I want to go and see a guy, hmm? as I'm with the guy, I used to make what I call a warning phone call. Okay, a warning phone call. Now, what I call a warning phone call is like when me I'm with a guy and maybe it's not someone that I really know. It's maybe someone new and we're just getting to know each other and, and stuff like that. And maybe we go for a date and we're in a different territory. My warning phone call is, I'll call one of my friends and say, Oh, yes, yeah, so I'm with him. Oh, we at Mr. Biggs. Yes, the one on uh, Bodija. <laughs> this one I was in school. Yes, the one on Bodija Road. Uh, yes, that red one. Uh, he's driving a red car. Uh, yes, his plate number. Oh, no, th this is his plate number. This one. I will call in his presence. So, like in his, in his freaking presence. I will call his plate number. I will tell you what he's wearing. I will tell you his name. I will tell you everything about him, okay? The truth of the matter is that a good guy will understand. A bad guy will be pissed off. Win-win <laughs> situation, okay? Win-win, okay? I have nothing to lose. A bad guy will be pissed off. A good guy will understand. So, I always make the warning phone call. If I'm with my friend, sometimes it might not even be a real phone call. It might just be fake. But I always make that warning phone call. So that the guy will know that... Somebody knows where I am, knows who you are, knows what you are wearing, knows your car, kind of car, knows your plate number, knows everything about you, okay? At least everything I know about you. Someone else knows it. So please, always try and make a warning phone call. If you enter an Uber, I do this in a taxi too, okay? Once I enter a taxi, I always call someone and say, yes, I'm in a taxi, the name of the taxi is this, uh, the driver is that, this is the color of the car, this is the plate number of the car. I always do it when I enter a taxi, when I'm, you know, alone, especially when I'm alone. Now, another one that I always used to do is, I snoop around. Yes, now that I'm married, I don't even snoop around at all, which is so funny. Like, I I, I don't even have time to check my husband's phone that, who are you talking to? When I, I don't have that time but before i got married i used to snoop <laughs> i used to snoop home. the reason why i used to snoop was just because sometimes when reading a guy's messages with other people you get a sense of the kind of guy that the person is okay i have a friend who found out that her boyfriend had raped a girl before through messages like the girlfriend, the person that he raped, confronted him with true messages, and this my friend saw it, okay? So, please, Snoop, oh, I am team Snoop before you get married, before you settle down with anybody. Please, Snoop, when they're making phone calls, <coughs> remove your slippers, keep on one side, and tiptoe around the house. Go and listen to his conversations. If drop. <laughs> It's drop, yes, that's my own advice. If you don't like it, it's fine, that's your business. But me, I am Team Snoop. If it's drop very well, try and get a sense of who this guy is aside from what he tells you, okay? Because human beings are very good at lying. You see men, they will disgrace you. So another one is watch how he treats others, okay? Watch how he treats other people, not just other women, how he treats other people in general, okay? Do not ignore any type of abuse any form of abuse because once i realized about abuse is that abuse escalates from verbal abuse it will get to physical abuse emotional abuse easily works hand in hand with physical abuse physical abuse usually works hand in hand with emotional abuse in any form okay when i say any form i mean any form if he mistakenly slaps you mistakenly slaps you because some people say it's mistake, it's the devil, I don't know. If he mistakenly stabs you, please, sister, just know that it's just the beginning, okay? That mistakenly slap is going to turn to intentionally beat you up someday. So you better do not ignore any form of abuse. The same thing with microaggressions, okay? Do not ignore microaggressions. The kind of person that will tell you things like, I better leave this place before I slap your face, Joe. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Kind of person that tells you things like he's kind of guy that tells you things like, um, like remove your hair from this road. I beg. Look at how you look like a a a, a market woman. Okay, okay, okay. He's kind of person that tells you things like, or he's kind of person that maybe you touch his phone, he taps your hand. You, you know what they call microaggression. They're not they're not obvious examples of aggression, but you know that might you know. 
you know that this thing is not right, but you can't really you can't really put a finger on it. Don't ignore those signs, okay? Maybe you want to collect his phone. He taps your hand and you know you know how the tongue can tap your hand and it's very painful. Or you want to ask him something like, uh, where did you go? And he's like, why are you asking me where did I go to? Why are you asking me? Am I, am I, are you my mother? Are you my <laughs> sister? Mm -mm, you better watch out for that, okay? You better watch out for that, okay? So yeah, do not ignore microaggressions. If you have a guy who you cannot ask questions, somehow you are not free in his presence. Somehow you are afraid to even joke with him the way you know you, people joke with their partners you are afraid to joke with him some kind of joke you are afraid to and same thing goes for females too okay that is men too remember like i said this video is about women okay you can't joke with him the way you know you can't question him you can't tell him uh uh you can't tell him ah oh god this is a decision that you made does not really i don't like it you know you can't you can't you can't really you can't really talk sister please you have to be careful Please do not marry such a man. If you are married such a man, I'm sorry, but if you are not yet married to him, please do not marry such a man. You have to really... Anyway, like I said, like I always say, people want different things from their relationship. So if you are okay with it, it's fine. But if you are not okay with it, sister, please, okay, let him go because you are going to regret it if you end up with such a man. If before marriage, he cannot even answer a simple question like, where did you go to? Okay, then after marriage, he's going to leave you for three days, come back home and ask for food. Please learn the art of self-defense. This is something that I wish I had learned and I'm going to teach my children. Learn the art of self-defense, okay? I'm not saying now that when you learn self-defense that nobody can overpower you, but no. Let it not be easy for the person. Let himself, eh? Even if he has his way, God forbid, but even if he has his way, let himself know that, ah, no, 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 no. So yeah, learn the art of self-defense and it is also a muscle you need to flex, okay? The more you are used to defending yourself, the easier it is to defend yourself when bad things happen, okay? And, and, I don't mean that you should go and be fighting people, but I'm just saying if you are used to training your body, you are used to training your body, you know, in the art of running, in the art of fighting, in the art of, you know, kickboxing, all kinds of, you know, self-defense methods. If you train yourself over and over again, when something bad happens, it's going to be easier for you to quickly defend yourself. But if you just learn this once and you just let it go, it might be hard, even though you know how to defend yourself, it might be hard for you to defend yourself when you need to because you have what they call, um, what they call this thing. Like, fear will paralyze you sometimes if you are not, you know, if you don't really flex that muscle very well. So the last one is know what rape is know what rape is i'm sure this is going to sound funny but know what rape is know what assault is okay because i see some exposers on the internet indeed i am here to expose him and what they are describing is just bad sex okay what they are describing is just awful sex they are not describing rape okay know what rape is because when you come out and accuse a guy of raping you and the evidence shows that it was just bad sex you are actually hurting the case for other women who were actually raped and who are who have actually been sexually assaulted okay if it is a date gone wrong admit that it is a date gone wrong do not come and accuse a guy of rape just simply because you are angry with him you are upset with him rape is actually a very very serious um, accusation okay so know what rape is do not come out and say somebody raped you when you now describe the situation and it's just like he, he didn't rape you you just you just didn't enjoy the sex okay so know what rape is and also know what your rights are okay in an event where you are raped or you are assaulted please go straight to the police station and go and report it go and report it so that they will have record of your you know assault or the rape go and report it okay yes in this country our law is just trash but at least just let it let it be some let it be documented that something happened to you okay please go and report it immediately don't go and tell one pastor don't go and report it to the person's brother don't go and report it to family members yeah because i know that yes even in police station they still refer you back to pastor and family members that's how bad our our legal system is or our, how bad our justice system is that's how bad it is we have police in this, in this country that will tell you eh, oh he raped your daughter your two-year-old daughter okay it's a family it's a family matter go and settle it at home yes in this same country okay a grown man will rape a child they'll tell you go and settle it it's a family matter so yes it happens but at the same time have it on record somewhere document it take pictures of your body take pictures of your of your of your injuries okay document it somewhere document it on facebook document it on, on instagram on youtube on wherever have 
a documentation of what happened to you and a clear account of what happened to you if you can okay also go to the hospital and get yourself checked if you need to take the, if you need to take the emergency pill to prevent pregnancy if you need to you know undergo surgery or treatment of any kind the painkillers whatever it is depending on the degree of the assault please go and seek help immediately do not be ashamed do not stay at home and nurse your wounds quietly okay it can lead to more damage to your system it can lead to pregnancy it can lead to more emotional trauma please go and seek help go to hospitals i'll try and look for helplines and i'll put them in the description box i can help out i'm going to look for them and leave their links in the description box if you get assaulted, please and please do not stay at home and be nursing your wounds. Do not just report it to your sister or your friend. Go to the go to the hospital and go to the police station. If you are in the same country, if you even go to hospital, they are going to report it straight to the police station, okay? And vice versa. If you go to the police station, they are going to take you to the hospital. So, if you are in the same country, but if you are in Nigeria... <sighs> and I'm still an advocate. Even though I said yes, don't come out and... And accuse a guy wrongly i'm still an advocate of blast it on social media yes if a guy assaults you if a guy rapes you if a guy does abuses you or whatever go on social media if you have his handle go and blast it on social media yes go and blast it. as far as you are sure that it's happened to you don't care what anybody is saying yeah people come and try to blame you people come and try to poke holes in your story people come and try to you know say this and say that that's their business make sure you blast the idiot on social media okay because you don't even know who he has done this thing to that will now come out and back you up and you have a case okay or you prevent him from doing it to some other person like i said all these points do not mean that whoever has been raped or whoever has been assaulted you know cost it because they did not follow these rules or anything no i'm not saying that all i'm saying is that bad things happen to good people for sure i pray that we all remain safe okay may god continue to protect us anybody that has evil intentions towards us may they never see us all the eyes of wicked and unreasonable men are removed from us in the name of jesus okay thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys